Hello, I'm Tenran432. Today I'm going to be playing more of Mega Man Zero Two. Uh, in the last part, we were trying to find El Paizo in a forest, and um, we found out that in that forest he ha found a key that was the seal, uh, or to be used to break the seal of the Dark Elf, which is like an all-powerful Cyber Elf, and he was trying to get unlimited power from it. So in this part of Mega Man Zero Two, I'm going to try to continue to find El Paizo and uh, see more of why he went to the other locations. But right for right now, I'm upgrading some Cyber Elves because I might want to use them to um, upgrade Zero and his capabilities or his maximum health, like like this Cyber Elf here that I just upgraded. And this one right here, which should reduce the boss's energy. I don't know if that's permanent for all bosses or just the stage, but I, for now, I'll upgrade my health, and I'll just, I guess, keep the other cyber elf with me for a while, or just abandon it in the computer. But anyway. Now we're going to go on our next mission, which would be to search for El Paizo in the Computer Zone 2, Computer Zone 2, and the boss is Fair Leviathan. This is New Arcadia's computer facility in Antarctica. You have destroyed most of it, but some of the systems are still alive. El Paizo seems to be trying to find out the secret code to go into the facilities in New Arcadia. I wonder if he intends to break into New Arcadia alone. Will you go there? And yes, because I have to, or else I'll just stay there for the rest of the game. So it's not really a choice. We are now ready to transfer. Transfer start. I wish you good luck. Zero, can you hear me? It seems you can't enter it through the facility. You need to enter from the outside. Stay alert. Well, would they expect the door to be open? Anyway, this stage, um, it's pretty easy. Um, there are, or not easy, I guess, but there are a lot of these little mines there. If you step on them, they explode. And if you shoot them, they explode. So be careful about that. Uh, also, there are those ones that drop off the little spinny spike things, and there are these little, um, wolf dog things. Mavericks, I guess. But, um, just, uh, if you take it slow, you're probably gonna have a relatively easy time with the level. Just, uh, watch out for those guys with the spikes and the dogs, I guess, and, uh, be careful when you're around the mines because they're mines and they'll explode. But, um... There's some extra health, or like a super infinity health, um, at the corner that I just passed. And there are some exploding enemies and enemies that throw snowballs at you. Kind of like the ones in Chill Penguin stage. And, uh... Yeah, um, that's pretty much all the enemies, I th think. But, um... There's also the turret guys, I guess, but that's it. And, uh, the real challenge here would probably be the, uh, mines. Because you can easily step on them. But, uh, before I go down there, I have to get this cyber elf, because I just have to. Because. So I got Remilar, but, um, one thing that I didn't find out until a few, uh, weeks, days ago, but, um, you can... If you jump on the mine, you can actually just jump off really quickly, if you know that, but, um, it's still pretty hard to get around there, the mines. So, it's, uh, almost the whole stage. Over here, you just gotta watch out for these bombs. These bomb dudes. But, uh, other than that, the stage is relatively easy. Relatively. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Just have to be really careful, because I have one health left. Hopefully there's health at the end, but no, just an extra life. So I'll probably just use my sub-tank. 
There you go. And we're already at the boss fight, which is Fairy Leviathan. Hello, Zero. It's nice to see you again. I'd love to play with you, but unfortunately, I have no time. As soon as I defeat you, I have to take care of Commander El Paizo. So, let's go, Zero. Alright, so the next boss fight, we have Fairy Leviathan, but, um... She's pretty much the same as she was in the last game, so it's pretty easy to defeat her while you have the... Uh, fire charge shot equipped and that's all I had to do it took like 10 seconds anyway. <laughs> While playing with you El Paizo went somewhere. I got caught up in the fun of the moment. How foolish of me your strength drives me crazy Next time I'll do better. So see you again So I guess you just left like that I guess I got a C on the mission. I don't know if I can do any better than that, but anyway, we're back. And I guess we didn't get to see El Paizo that time, because he ran away. But it doesn't really matter, because I'm sure we'll find him again. El Paizo seems to unlock- has found the secret code. The secret code can unlock a door to the highest security in Neo Arcadia. I guess the Dark Elf is sealed there. Alright, so I guess that's one mission, but uh, we have plenty of time to take on another, so let's do that. What's next? We do have the Crystal Cave. Alright, this is the Crystal Cave where the bombardment aircraft that was destroyed has crashed. El Paizo seems to have been there to look for something. I don't know what it is. Since the area is close to our base, I asked some resistance soldiers to look for El Paizo. I don't know if they can manage by themselves. Will you help them? All right, let's, yes, I will. Let's do this next mission. And apparently it's next to the base and the aircraft that we crashed is there. So that should be interesting. This should be the meeting spot for our comrades. It's strange, no one has arrived. Zero, I've got a very bad feeling. Okay, well that's uh, a little bit odd. Nobody's arrived yet, but um, this stage, this stage is actually pretty hard because of spikes that kill you instantly, and um, I died a lot while I was recording this. Uh, the first time I recorded it, I accidentally walked into those spikes uh, that I just passed, and then I fell into here, and uh, yeah, I died a lot of times even though I'd already played and beaten this level several times. Uh, but it's pretty difficult. Anyway, up here we have so another cyber elf that I took too long to get to, so I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit. So, yeah. Anyway, that was at four times speed, and that still took a couple seconds. Just imagine that, only four times as long. But, uh, yeah, I stayed up there for quite a bit. And then I fell on these spikes and decided I'll keep it because I don't want to re record the entire thing again. So I just cut out the part of me walking all the way back here. And uh, I actually did better on this run than any other run because I died like five more times, five times and all the other ones, but anyway. Now we're at the actual crystal part of the cave. And, um... There, there are these weird enemies, and if you hit them, uh, when they're the right color, it'll show an invis some invisible crystals on the ground that you have to hop on. Um, they're still there, but when you hit the enemies, it shows where they are. So it's easier, but I think for most of it, it's every other spike formation is crystals. Anyway, here I uh, might have accidentally killed myself on spikes again because uh, there's a mini boss below it and uh, I accidentally jumped on the spikes because I forgot that there were spikes right there. So you jump here, wall climb down, and then you get the mini boss golem. 
Um, and uh, I didn't realize it till now that uh, those are electric golems and that they're weak to ice. But I really don't know why I didn't think of it since the other ones were elemental golems too. But anyway, in the next room you just get some E crystals and uh, Cyber Elf. But now we continue on and there's a second floor of the crystal caves. We can jump through there and there's another one of these uh, spikes all over the ground with invisible crystal things. And uh, yeah, same strategy. Uh, mostly it's every other one, but I just keep hitting the thing just in case. So, I just kind of keep jumping to every other one, but then I fail there. And, uh, I really don't know how I messed that up. Well, I'll just edit out the part of me walking back. And then we should be almost there. I think I died right about there. But... I'll be extra careful this time. Make sure I don't mess up. Let's see, where's the next pl platform? Oh, it's all the way over there. And then this one, it's kind of tricky because you have to jump on top of it because it's a wall. And it looks like that. A wall from the ceiling. But we should be almost there. Maybe one, one more jump. And we're right there. Now, if you went all the way back, you could get an extra life. But, uh, I don't know if I can really do that. Okay, well, I'm back. I guess I kind of failed. But, uh, if you go all the way to the other end, you can get an extra life. It just ran falls down from the ceiling. Anyway, we're at the next section of the level. Zero, they're being controlled by something. Make sure you don't harm them, Zero. Okay, so I guess that's why our our um, army wasn't there. I guess they're being controlled by something. Uh, anyway, you can actually kill them, and uh, it does lower your mission score. But they all drop extra lives, and... Um, you can do it a lot accidentally, but it does lower your mission score. So you gotta be aware of that if you really like uh, getting an A on your missions. Anyway. There are more of these enemies that shock you. And, um... Uh, one that one killed me, I guess. And it, the checkpoint was all the way back in the crystal cave, so I'll just skip ahead like that. And I accidentally shot that poor guy. Okay, so I guess shooting them with your regular shot does not kill them, but it only stuns them, but I know you can kill them. And I might accidentally kill one. Like, like that. That was an accident. Totally didn't mean to do that. But anyway, uh, you might recognize that platform there. That is actually the ship that crashed, like Seal said. This is the remains of it. But anyway, we're done with the stage. Now, you got the boss fight. And what's that, Alpizo? <laughs> this is it. Now I am a step closer to the Dark Elf. <laughs> and he just teleports away. That commander of yours seemed to have retrieved the IFF beacon. I wonder what he's up to. Why is he acting alone, breaking into new Arcadian facilities? I don't understand the logic at all. Well, I don't really need to know. All those inferior resistance behaviors are not all that different. Well, Zero, it's time for you to die. Oh, wow. That's, um... Just came in and told me to die. Anyway, it might not show up, but the he does shoot the purple rays still. And, uh, yeah, there it goes. Uh, the pink rays, I guess. But, uh, mostly he has the same attacks. Or, you can follow the mostly the same pattern or uh actually no but you can just hit him with the charged ice shot and he'll just repeat the same thing over and over he does have a new uppercut move that he likes to use a lot and uh he can also summon thunder from the sky but uh if you had the last one down easy and this one <laughs> 
You are still so strong. I love it. You're the only one who can make me feel this alive. I enjoy the sensation. I love the pain. You are worthy. Okay. Mission accomplished. Transfer me back. Roger, transfer commencing. Okay, well, Alpizo, or, um, both Alpizo and Harpuya just kind of teleported away. Don't know where any of them are. Anyway, we're back from that mission. Wasn't too bad. Other than the constant deaths. But, you know. The IFF beacon that Alpizo was looking for is used for New Arcadia to you and identify whether you're friend or enemy. <laughs> and then I skipped ahead way too fast that I couldn't read it. Okay, well, that's all I have time for today. So, um, thank you for watching. Um, maybe in the next part we'll be able to find El Paizo. Maybe bring him back. Or maybe something else, I don't know. But anyway, that's all for today. So, uh, peace and sheep.